Good morning, everybody. This is your instructor, Ann Teed, and we're going to have two videos displayed today. This one, which is going to give you an activity to get you started with the midterm, and then I will post another one tomorrow morning that will be an overview of the midterm. We have four Zooms this week, so hopefully I'll see you at one of them, and I will be going over uh, the entirety of the whole midterm project. There's going to be a writing component, pulling everything together for the semester that we've uh, ex looked at so far and explored uh, with philosophies and statements. And then there's going to be a hands-on project uh, that I hope you enjoy. I've used this project for a couple of years and uh, everybody enjoys doing it. So we're going to do some writing and some art making. Again, be in your comfort zone of making your art. And then I'm gonna ask you to be sharing your projects in two weeks with, I'm gonna do the Zoom, the Doodle again, and hopefully add some more times or see where everybody could uh, and adjust the times we used before, but you'll be making a presentation. If you can't come to any of the Zooms in two weeks, um, then I'll ask you to make a video to submit to me. Um, all right, so the first project, and I will write this up and I'll post it, but uh, that'll be tomorrow morning. We'll have uh, this project plus a template uh, posted. Everything is, uh, you know, uh, coming together. And uh, I wanted to separate different parts because they're big components. So the first thing I want to talk about right now to get you started for the week and for your midterm is an I am poem and you might have written them before. A lot of times when I give this assignment out, people say, ah, I made one already. And But we're going to go a little deeper and throw our net out a little uh, broader. And I actually learned how to, or I was exposed to uh, an I Am poem in an expressive arts therapy big uh, class that I took three years ago. And it was transformative. It was um, it was something that changed how I write and how I express and how I make art based on narrative and based on reflection. So um, how it was expressed to me, how it was explained to me is not just the I am. It's really from using your senses and using your life experience. I am from. So I'm going to add the word from uh, in this capacity, I am from, and I don't want to just be today. I want you to go back to culture and to exposure to, maybe it's your great grandparents. Maybe it's a culture that you know, my grandparents came from Italy 200 years ago, whatever. No, actually a hundred and something years ago. And what do they bring that's part of me? I am from that. Even though I have not stepped foot where they were born, I'm still from that. I'm from a table uh, of food and conversation and music and and uh, so I want you to take us as your audience to that from place and I'm just going to read a little snippet of one of uh, the I am from uh, parts that were part of many of the I am poems that I've written over my past couple years um, and it took me to a place that I believe my art making or my expression as an artist started from. And uh, it doesn't have to be a physical place again. It could be a mental place, a spiritual place, whatever. So the beginning of mine, I'm only going to read a little snippet. I am from wonder. I am from the backyard cradle of railroad tides, sand and dirt, where I meticulously made my magical mud pies, sprinkling and lacing them with tender blades of grass and delicate mud puddle stones. That's the beginning entry. Um, and then I take you to eating artichokes with my grandparents and all different, different parts of where I'm from. Uh, I, I'm gonna ask you to write this up with a rambling, I am from, I am from, and it's just, it's not, uh, worrying about spelling and cohesivity. It's rambling on, I am from, and you might jot something down and go back to it. But then at the end, you're gonna make a final one that's tailored to uh, putting it together to something to share. 
But um, that is part one of starting our midterm. And uh, the after, I will be posting more uh, tomorrow morning so that everybody can get started with their midterm. So there'll be this project, there'll be a template organizing your midterm, and then you'll dig in when you are ready after you uh, have done these pre-activities, getting into writing your narrative uh, re uh, summary using your philosophies, and then you're going to be making your art, which is an inside-outside box. All right, more to come as the uh, tomorrow. I really wanted to not only just spew everything out as an assignment, I'm meeting with a big percentage of you tonight in our Zoom, and I wanted your feedback. So that's why I did not post everything except for this uh, video for today. I am a student-centered teacher, so I really wanted to talk a big uh, talk to a big group of you tonight to see where you might want to take this midterm. We are a collective group, so that is why I'm not posting everything today. Uh, it's gelling and coagulating with your contribution. All right, so more to come tomorrow morning on Tuesday. Everything will be launched in writing and very clear with what is due uh, in two weeks, which will be a presentation uh, of your inside-outside box and also will be a written summary. All right, have a good day. See some of you tonight and then the rest of the week. I will be recording it for those who cannot attend. Uh, so if you can't attend at all, you'll still have our dialogue probably this evening because it's the biggest group. Take care.